Are snow days a thing of the past? Since the pandemic and the rise in virtual learning, school district leaders all over the nation are discussing what to do when bad weather hits. And we're officially less than 10 weeks away from winter, but we know here in the Midwest, the cold and the snow doesn't always wait for the seasons to change. NBC 15's Elizabeth Wattis joins us now with more. John and Maria, instead of having a snow day, schools can now opt for a virtual snow day. So does that mean snow days are off the table now that kids and teachers are used to learning through a screen? I reach out to a dozen local districts to find out. You can see the, the good moderate, uh, maybe even pushing heavy snow at this point. And Gathering so around the television. I know that those are the nights that our families are watching the weather. Waiting for your meteorologist to predict the chances of a Midwestern kid's winter dream. A lot of school delays, some school closings out there. The chance of a snow day. Every snow day, um, there's all kinds of conversation that happens. And those conversations have new variables to them, with some districts moving away from snow days and switching to virtual days instead. That's partly due to the COVID-19 pandemic, since students and teachers now have the tools to learn through a screen. Things are certainly different, uh, aren't they? If Madison Metropolitan School District spokesperson Tim Lamons was in the business of predictions, he wouldn't put his money on snow days becoming a thing of the past. So snow days are not going away in MMSD? No, not, a, not in MMSD. No, absolutely not. Lamont says it boils down to meeting state requirements for learning time. According to the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction, students first through sixth grade have to complete 1,050 hours of learning every year. Grades 7 through 12, 1,137. So taking an unplanned snow day could mean tacking on more school time come summer. When we're looking at a situation where we would be extending the, the year to make up for, for snow days, if we go over that allotment, um, we would then be considering that virtual option. Lamont says MMSD has three days wiggle room. They'll use three snow days first and then consider the virtual option. With our school district, we're looking at things like is going to a virtual option an equitable way of going about it? Um, so we may be looking at uh, does every student have the resources to get online? Over in the DeForest School District. It's the part of the job that I'm probably least looking forward to is canceling school. Yeah. I'm a big fan of keeping school going. Superintendent Dr. Rebecca Tates has a slightly different game plan, trying to go virtual as much as possible instead of canceling class. The strategy would be to, as long as we know ahead of time that school really should be canceled, it would be to use the virtual um, option. Um, so that people are prepared and we don't have to be at risk of making up minutes. And while Dr. Tates hopes to minimize the number of snow days taken, Midwestern winter fun will be sprinkled in when it can be. They might be writing about snow, they might be doing an activity in the snow and then draw about it. There is nostalgia and a lot of joy with the snow day and we don't want that to go away. Having a plan in place even for the unpredictability of old man winter will hopefully increase the chances of student success. We'll see what this year brings. Um, we will be ready. Some other districts I reached out to who responded with their plans. Mineral Point, Mount Horeb and Partyville, they will be doing something similar to MMSD, using up their allotted snow days before considering going virtual. If you're a parent and you have some concerns about your school's bad weather learning plan, I want to hear from you. Go to our website, NBC15.com, click the Investigates tab and let me know. Live in the studio tonight, Elizabeth Wattis, NBC15 News.